Hi friends, recently I was sorting through trash and came across one of my homemade device which is already 15 years old. Memories flooded in and I decided to shoot a video. I think you will be interested. So, the year was 2007. Your obedient servant was an ordinary first year student. I will appear on YouTube only after three years, although I will graduate from the university with honors and then I will continue my studies and get a master's degree, but in the end I will become a lazy slacker who only knows how to shoot videos. By the way, my education isn't related to electronics and I'm a self-taught amateur in this area, but let's go back to 2007. At that time, not everyone had the internet and the computer. The telephone market was dominated by such giants as Nokia, Siemens, Motorola, Sony Ericsson and others. But in the same year, everything will change and the world will see the first iPhone. From that moment on, push-button phones will begin to disappear and in their place will be those that we use to this day. For me, an ordinary student who combined part-time work and study, such a luxury wasn't available, so I used what I had. Often I didn't always have time to prepare for exams on time, so I had to somehow get out. I didn't like to write off cheat sheets because the time spent on creating cheat sheets can be spent on learning the material. And also, cheat sheets are one-off. You wrote it, used and threw it away. After thinking for a couple of days, I came up with an idea that was ideal at that time. The idea was about creating an electronic cheat sheet, which you can always use and if used correctly, not get caught. I don't know whether or not micro headphones were sold then, but in all sorts of radio magazines were articles about their design. But I immediately abandoned this idea in favor of a more advanced cheat sheet. So, this Frankenstein was born, an ideal device for passing any exams at that moment, against which cellular network jammers are powerless. Now, electronics has become small and you can bring a small gadget to the exam and write off, but then everything was different. The basis for this thing was the Siemens M65 phone, which was bought inexpensively in a dead state either on the market or from a friend. Don't pay attention to the appearance of the device. The strap fell apart over time. Some parts, in particular the battery and the camera, were lost. The body of the phone has been completely removed. It had a color display and, most importantly, a 0.3 megapixel camera with the ability to record a video. Yes, 0.3 megapixels, and that was somehow enough then. There was also a voice recorder, an infrared port, and a built in memory as much as 11 megabytes. In general, it had everything that needs to realize my idea. The idea was as follows, it was necessary to remove the backlight of the display and bring it out with wires. The phone located in the pocket and the display on the arm. Using the joystick, you can carefully control your phone. There is no backlight on the display and from the side no one can see that something is happening on it. And you could also set a clock as a screensaver. I did this very often so as not to arouse suspicion before the exam. With a built-in camera, all lectures were photographed and stored in the phone's memory. The Select or OK button is wired to the pen you're writing with. The speaker of the phone is also wired out and placed in the ear. The speaker wires were single core, very thin in lacquer insulation. They were invisible, but they teared very often. Then you could read all the lectures aloud, writing them down on your phone, so at the same time you create a cheat sheet and would learn something. The user had the option to either copy from the photo stored on the phone or copy from a recording. You press the button on the pen, listen to one sentence, then press the same button and got a pause. You wrote down what you heard, then press play again and so on. Moreover, each recording and photo file had the corresponding names. You went to the exam, pulled out a ticket, sat down using the joystick in pocket and found the necessary file. If the earpiece breaks off, it doesn't matter, there are photos that will help you out. It used to happen that photos were sometimes taken by another, higher megapixel phone and uploaded to this one via the infrared port. Even then, I threw out factory battery and put in a more capacious one, which was soldered to the contacts on the board. The charge of the factory battery was often not enough. 
All buttons are in place so that you can give names to files and carry out other actions. Even if necessary, it was possible to make a call to a friend during the exam. After all, the phone is fully working, but this will work only if there was no cellular network jammers. Other wires have never been torn. It's MGTF type wires and in terms of flexibility and reliability then and now, it is difficult to find analogs. But before we start, a few words about the sponsor of this video, about the company GLC, which is one of the leaders in the field of production of printed circuit boards. You can order PCB of any complexity at the lowest prices. The price starts from $2 for 10 pieces. All links are in the description. To improve the quality of the recording, I replaced the factory microphone with another one. Of course, before the exam, all notifications, sounds, and so on were turned off on the phone, so as not to be distracted and not to be get caught. The only inconvenience was that it was difficult to prepare early in the morning. The installation of this equipment under the clothes needed third-party help, and it took at least 20 minutes. Everything had to be done very carefully so as not to tear off the wires of the earpiece and also to arrange all the wires invisible so the clothes had to be chosen attentively. And in addition, the road from home to the university is long and you had to go very carefully and not make sudden movements, but if everything was done correctly, success is guaranteed. Rumors about my device spread quickly and very often I gave it to friends for exams, but I myself used this device no more than 10 times. Of course, the rumors also reached the teachers, once we had an exam in ecology. The teacher, a young, promising person, a lover of iPhones and all sorts of modern things, saw a strange watch with a large display on my hand. He immediately came closer and became interested purely out of curiosity. He thought that it was some kind of modern watch that he had not yet seen. I tried to divert the conversation and promised to show and tell in detail about the watch after the exam, and the exam was just beginning. But probably out of excitement, I accidentally lifted the sleeve of shirt and finally got caught on these because the wires connected to the display came visible. Naturally, noticing this, the teacher asked to take it off, and in order to take it off, I was forced to partially undress because all this bunch of wires ran under my clothes. As a result, when he had all this charm on his table, he looked, touched, and marked me excellent for the exam, but only if I promised not to use this thing anymore. Since then, the device has gone on the back burner. I took it out a couple of times to show it to someone, the last time it fell into my hands in the summer of 2015, and then I even made a video about it. Surprisingly, this old thing covered with oxides and dirt is still working, even now change the strap and forward to the past. You know, it would seem that with such a thing in your pocket you should feel more confident. If everything is done correctly, the result is guaranteed and there will be no stress before the exam. But with this device, my adrenaline level was always went off scale because there was always a chance that the teacher would notice. The morale of the fable is this. Naturally, the diploma isn't the main thing. The main thing is what is in your head. University gives knowledge only if you accept it. And the most important thing, in my opinion, is communication with talented and smart people. I mean a good teacher, and there were a lot of them in my student years. Student life is certainly not easy, but years will pass and you will really, really miss those times when there wasn't a penny in your pocket, but life was much better. Then gray, everyday life will come. Ten years of your life will fly by like one day. You will turn around and there is already gray hair on the head and half a life in the past. Then you will think and feel in your own skin the meaning of the expression, time flies fast. In any case, the past isn't subject to return and editing. The video may have turned out to be sad and I ruined the mood for somebody by forcing them to think about that. Well, what can I say? I'm sorry. On this, friends, this video comes to an end. Please don't forget to read it and share with friends. Now I say bye until we meet again. With you as always was Kasian TV.